USPSA day. Sorry, it's probably pretty dark in there. Um, so it is the last USPSA of the month, um, or of the year actually. Up here in Indiana, uh, we only go USPSA through like October. The high today is like 65. The temperature right now is in the 50s. But let me tell you, this is perfect. My fingers are a little, a little on the cold side, but I'm not using a steel gun today. So that doesn't matter as much. And when you're running around shooting, there's nothing better than a nice crisp morning. So I'm looking forward to this. Let's go ahead and get going. I hate the uncertainty. I hate the uncertainty when you're getting ready to go that you've got everything. I got my gun, I got my magazines, I got my belt. I think I've got my belt. Let's go make sure I got my belt. Yep, there's my belt. I mean, that's all I need, right? Ammo, which is right there. <laughs> um, ammo, belt, mags, and the gun. Technically, I can get away with that, and PPE and all that good stuff, So, which I should probably make sure is in my box. The answer today is yes. So, with that done, now we can get go, go ahead and get going. Um, I'm actually doing okay on time right now. I do have to stop and get something to drink. Notice I'm, uh, I'm dressed relatively warm today. Um, I actually have a long sleeve or a long sleeve shirt on under this as well because it is chilly out uh, and that it's not so fun sometimes. But it is quarter after nine. Match starts at 10. Takes me about 25 minutes to get out there or so. That'll give me 20 minutes to get um, get set up, get the drone up in the air, run the drone around a little bit, uh, give you guys some views of. Uh, of the stages and hopefully we'll be able to really get a good idea of what we're doing beforehand. I should probably take the time instead of flying the drone to walk the stages but I'm not going to because I don't prepare well. I just realized the radio is on. I don't prepare well um, and honestly half the time if you watch my last uh, <laughs> the vlog from last time the thing that I decided that I was going to do for every stage changed right before I actually ran the stage. So we're going to go ahead and stop down here at the, uh, the creepy dude, don't, don't back into me. Hey, I'm right here. Uh, <laughs> we're going to stop. We're going to get something to drink because despite it being cold out, I still am going to sweat and, uh, I'll see you on the road again. Okay. I'm back on the road after almost, uh, almost committing the mortal sin of forgetting my shooting money. Uh, it costs 20 bucks to do this and I forgot it, so I had to run inside really quick. Um, all in all, drinks and running back only took about four minutes, so that's not too bad. I live really close to that store. Anyway, um, so we're heading out there. I'm shooting carry optics again with the CZ P10F. This time around, I am running a 401 manufacturing optics plate. Uh, that is a plate that you can get on eBay. I'll post a link in the description down below for those. They are made of aluminum, and uh, so far it has been pretty solid. Um, I've not, you know, punch racked anything, but at the same time, I don't want to beat the crud out of my dot too much. Um, so as for the dot, I am running a the Holosyn 507C. This is my first time running that in competition. I've run it a lot uh, in practice. This is my first time running it in competition. I'm really looking forward to it because so far I love this dot. It's got a good size viewing window compared to the dots, compared to the US optic dots. And the dot brightness is way better than the US optics. Like the US optics dots are comparatively super dim. So I'm looking forward to that. My goal this time is top 10 again. Last time I placed uh, 10th place. So this time I'm hoping for 10 or better. Uh, I don't know who all is coming today. I know two of the heavy hitters are not going to be there. There is a state or a regional competition. I don't remember. Um, around here too. So a lot of the guys that shoot IDPA and USPSA are at that IDPA uh, competition. So I know a lot, a couple of the guys who would place ahead of me aren't going to be there. I don't know who is going to be there. But I'm looking forward to it. As always, it's going to be a blast. Uh, had a, I was. Uh, in a squad by myself and had a couple of guys who um, follow me on Instagram send me a message and ask me to jump over to their squad so that's what I'm doing I'm hopping or I hopped over to their squad and then we moved back to the squad I was originally on thanks guys <laughs> but uh, it doesn't doesn't matter in the long run super easy to change squads but I'm still gonna give them crap about it so 
that's what we're doing. I think we got a pretty full squad. I think we're at either nine or 10 shooters on our squad. Uh, we are squad five, and usually the squads fill up relatively in order, like one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means there's gonna be a good number of shooters there today. Here's to hoping it's good. The weather is gonna be awesome. It's nice, clear skies. That means you guys should be able to see pretty well. Um, <laughs> we're gonna have, the temperatures are sitting, right now the temperature sitting at 52 a little bit chilly but not too bad it should warm up nicely be in the 60s uh, i dressed appropriately so i don't have like my arms aren't hanging out i'm wearing a sweatshirt on the outside so i can just take that off when i get too warm but i'm really looking forward to this this as i said this is our last one of the year uh which is sad because i haven't made that many this year i think this is my fourth um and they they do them from march through october so there are quite a few that i haven't gotten to go to but um, I'm looking forward to it. So I will catch you guys when we get to the range. All right, guys, so we're on the first stage. We've got, don't mind me. <laughs> so let me see if I can backtrace this a little bit. All right, so there's, there's my hand, there we go. There's an area of four here. I'm gonna take this four, and then I'm gonna run to this side and make up some forward momentum as I take these targets on this side. I'm gonna reload and head across actually back to this side because we've got one target up here, then we've got three through a window, and then I'm gonna reload back all the way across, take the steel and take the uh, cardboard. So the reason that I'm doing it like that is twofold. I can make up ground while shooting if I take those forward arrays from a moving position. I can work my start working my way across, and then when I'm reloading, moving from the cardboard over to the steel, I can go ahead and swap mags and not be worried about uh, the 180. So that's my plan. What's up, man? up my first stage got a seven something eight factor i'm first shooter of the day on this one which is really rough my plan ended up doing okay had a lot of misses a lot of makeup shots which cost me a lot of time a uh, seven something hit factor as i said but uh i, I love the way they're setting up stages this uh, this year it's just really nice there's a lot of variability um but i just need to focus on my dot and focus on recoil management that was not so hot this time around so next Hopefully the next match will get a little bit better, or the next stage. So there's at least two, three other guys shooting CZs. So that's nice to not be the only one this time around. Oh, going over the stage. Standing behind the barrel with toes on the marks, the white barrel. Gun is loaded and holstered, the belt. I'm lax. <laughs> You don't want to be on YouTube, don't walk in front of me. Ah! <laughs> five minutes, people. All right, five minutes.
right, guys. So we just finished up stage two. I got a 5-9 hit back there. How'd you do? 5-0. 5-0? Ah! I know. <laughs> and you did better than the three first nine. stage. 3-9. 3-9? That's not bad. So, uh, I wasn't even... It's been too long since I shot, so I don't even know how I did on that one or what I did, but... And honestly, I haven't even looked at stage one. Did you guys look? Yeah. All right, cool. So we're all going into this blind. I have no idea what to expect. Hopefully there's not a star because I hate stars. So here we go. So we just finished up the third third stage. We're heading to the, technically it's the second stage set, but it's our fourth. Another field course. Um, got two more, or one more than the classifier. The last stage, uh, I kind of took a little bit of a, I wouldn't say it was a risk, but I did it a little bit different than most. Um, it was a stage that you were the closest to the right side when you started. I decided to run all the way left. Now the reason I decided to run all the way left, because when you're right-handed doing mag changes, when you're running right to left, it's really difficult to get a mag change actually done and to not break the 180 rule. So if you run left to right, you can actually drop the mag and reinsert and not have to worry about the 180 rule. So I did it that way, um, did two mag changes, took the steel at a the closer of the two. I could have taken it either head on or closer. Um, I took the closer one because I could see the steel. I could see all four steel so I wouldn't have to shoot and then wait for the steel to fall. I could shoot all four steel and not have to wait. Um, so then I did a reload on the back and just took the last two targets really quick and got a, it's like a five nine hit factor again, I think. So that's where we're at now. We're on this stage. He's going through the walkthrough, so I gotta go. Guys, so after looking at this one, this one's kind of a hose fest um, where you're just starting in the back, working your way forward. The tricky part with this one is working out mag changes. Oh, it got real dark. There it is. It's working out mag changes. Um, so it's set up pretty nicely for us, the like higher capacity guys. Um, so I've only got to do one mag change, and then there's a, I don't know if you want to call it a covered window up front, but um, I'm going to go to a knee on it. I don't shoot on my knees very often, but, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> We'll see how it works. Um, hopefully I won't take my knee out, but that's the game plan as of now, but everything changes once you start shooting. Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it here for the next slide. Alright guys, so now 
the problem is that I have a donut and I'm pulling a cart to the next one. <laughs> so thanks, Tim, for the donuts, but oh, I almost dropped it. Oh, no. God, that would be terrible. I'd eat it still. That's the bad part. I'd still eat it. Yeah, I'll just DQ myself after that. <laughs> so, all right. Sorry. So we finished the last stage. Finished strong, six something hit factor. Oh, everyone shocked. Lots of moving on this one. Talking. Handgun is loaded and holster, wrist below belt. If I'm for start start procedure, proceed to the shooting area. This needs to happen more often. I don't even care about shooting right now. There's the classifier. All right, let's get this started. up stage five. Stage five got a 6.0 hit factor. Ran it in 20 seconds, relatively quick. Um, I, We were judging and trying to figure out if we wanted to run up to the steel or if we wanted to take it from further back. Despite having a dot, I decided to run up to it and I think that paid off. Um, you can just take the shots a lot quicker when you're right up there. So we got to go listen to the classifier walk through and then we're running the classifier. Hopefully this time I don't get a zero. Alright guys, and that is it. I uh, just finished the class, well I've actually finished the classifier like a good 20 minutes ago. We just got finished cleaning up, but uh, got a... I think it was like a 6-0 hit factor or something like that, but I did okay today. It wasn't too bad, um, didn't do great. Most of my hit factors, except maybe one, were above six. So I think five is, I remember I used to aim for like fours. Five is my new aim, six makes me happy. So, uh, but yeah, we'll we'll see how, how I did when everything comes out here in a few hours. Usually it comes out uh, later on, like Sunday afternoon, but it was a blast as always. So we'll see you then. Hey guys, so as usual, it's like four days later now. Uh, the results have been in a long time. It took a little while to uh, to accept it. And um, I'm gonna close my windows real quick. So um, I got fourth overall and first in carry optics. Now, take that with a caveat because um, uh, there were a lot of good shooters who were gone. There was a local, um, uh, there was a state match going on. And a lot of the shooters that shoot at that level were gone. So like, probably I would have just broken the top 10 if they had showed up. Um, still probably would have taken carry optics because, um, because none of them shoot carry optics this year. But, uh, I just want to let you know that, that I got, uh, fourth overall and first in carry optics. I'm pretty darn proud of it. Um, going back and looking at my match videos, uh, I, I did, I always feel like I shoot a lot slower than I actually do. And I think part of that is just the confidence that you, get, that you get with a dot. It almost feels like you're waiting too long to pull the trigger. But um, it went really well. I was excited about it. I'm sad that it's the last one of the year. It may not be, actually. We may have one in November uh, that's unsure. Um, oh, actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I won't be able to go because I'll actually be at a class in November at Condition Red Response uh, taking a pistol class with them. So I won't even go to the November one. Uh, we will probably have some local ones here at Applied Ballistics. Thanks goes to Applied Ballistics, as always, for sponsoring the match. Um, it's always a blast. Thanks to the guy who puts it on. I'm not going to say his name because I don't know if he wants his name blasted out there. But he does a really good job. Uh, does a really good job at stage design. And we really appreciate it. So, with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go. And, um, yeah, thanks again for watching. Remember, guys, I appreciate every one of you. And until next time, do your research, get informed and get to work.